the new breed. A lot of foolishness on the internet. Sometimes it's fitness, sometimes it's gaming, sometimes it's anime. But every once in a while, I come across a topic that I just can't believe. Now, if you have been watching my channel, I've talked about people you know, getting married to holograms, you know, uh, the plushies, dolls, you know, inanimate objects, non-humans. Well, for everybody who wants this digital or, you know, 2D is better than 3D waifu empire to kind of take over, you might want to think twice because those plans might be soiled. So I'm going to share my screen in just a minute so you guys can see. Do you guys remember this man? Yes, is the the man who, yes, this is the man who married Hatsune Miku. Mm -hmm. And there's been an update on the story. And I'd like to just share with the class. So Ficto sexual man married a hologram bride, but now struggles to bond with her. Before oh. I <laughs> before I even get into Ficto it. Ficto sexual, wow. That's a new one. Off the yeah, title that's alone. A new one. Off the title alone. Thoughts on just that. He is struggling to bond with a hologram. No shit. Should we be surprised? Like, it's a hologram. Oh, I need to read up. It doesn't take a no brainer as to why. It's, okay. a hol it's a hologram. Like, if you do this, you're going to go, go through, through it. it. It's, it's, it's not warm. Not <laughs> no nothing, bro. So let's 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 get into it, right? She's not real, but his feelings are. A fictosexual man who had a fictional computer synthesized pop singer four years ago said he's now unable to communicate with his wife, but is still in love with her. Akihiko Kondo, who is age 38, was dating Hatsune Miku, who is depicted in pop culture as a 16-year-old. With, a, with turquoise hair for a decade before they had an unofficial wedding ceremony in 2018. Now, um, how people marrying holograms and they can't be, and they're not 18. I've always had the same. <laughs> Kwana, yeah, your I'm face 18. is disgusted. But no, there's an age exactly. and it's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, but like crazy? 16 year old too, that means he's not only uh, oh, mental, oh, he's oh, also oh, a pedophile. Oh, wait, but Let Jay, me... He waited a decade until he married her though. So nope, 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 right, nope. So technically, she's 26. This is not making it right. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta bring it up, and you said it before. I gotta bring it I gotta... Oh, She's no, not 18. Get so her off my screen. Y'all who are, it's cr crazy. You're marrying fictional characters and they ain't even 18. But, you know, all you know, different countries <laughs> and cultures. Double sinning. Fake and underage. You're double sinning, my <laughs> lad. Pick a seat. Pick one. So let's, um, let me go ahead and do this, right? So. Uh, someone who is sexually attracted to fictional characters, he spent 2 million yen, or about $17,300 on the Nupidals, but his family did not attend. Now, imagine getting married to a hologram and your family didn't even show up to it. Wow. So now, while Kondo acknowledges his relationship might be odd, he understands Miko isn't a real person. It doesn't change he does? his feelings for her. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. This is, this, I'm just reading up article. I'm just reading up article. So since falling in love with her in, uh, in 2008, Kondo was finally able to interact with Miku for the first time in 2017 thanks to a gate box, a $1,300 machine that allowed device owners to interact with characters via holograms and even unofficially marry them. But now... His four-year marriage took a turn when support for Gatebox software was eliminated, meaning that Kondo could no longer speak with his wife, Miku. So there you have it, folks. This man is no longer able to talk to his underage digital wife because the company stopped supporting the software. What is the thoughts of the panel on this absolute 
foolishness. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm picking. Alethea, you go first. What is your thoughts uh, on this? As a society, if we're condoning this kind of foolishness, perhaps he's not the one that's praying for We are <laughs> we're condoning the madness. Oh, but oh, my condolences to him. His wife is dead. <laughs> I don't think he thought that that could have happened. (laughs) Um, But I can do it. But obviously, this man is not of sound mind. Why why are we (laughs) encouraging this? Uh, It's kind of cringing. I ain't gonna lie. It is. Kwanai, what is your opinion on this? <laughs> Sorry, I was I muted. Kwana, what is your opinion on this? Uh, I don't know. You know, when you're lost for words, this is me. I'm I'm just lost for words. So I, I have no please pass on to the next person, please. <laughs> lost for words. Okay. Uh Empress now. Oh, <laughs> what is your thoughts on this? <laughs> oh, uh, let's hope that this guy does not go to an I-95 and lie down because his Damn. software is uh, <laughs> I hope that this collapsing of the software gives him a new chance to go outside and talk to a real girl with blood. <laughs> and real no, blood. that's not possible. Oh, real girls are scary. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Who kn- no, no, who knows? Maybe there is a, there's a way I call it. A person... Uh, also, fictosexual sex, fictor person coming out of their also dry spell and mm-hmm. is a female, and they too can mix and talk about their past and maybe a little nice relationship right there. You never know. I, I wish him well. I wish okay. him well. High chance it won't happen though, but wish him well nonetheless. There can be miracles, but yep. there can be miracles. <laughs> Anyway, Robin, (laughs) you've been quiet on this topic. What is your thoughts on the fictosexual? Actually, actually, before Robin, hold on. Before you give your take, Um... let me do this. Let me do this because uh, Kwanai, you actually were curious on what fictosexual means. So before Robin goes, let's get um. A, a d- definition on that really quick. So let me pull it up. Uh, so identifies as fictosexual, an umbrella term for anyone who only experiences sexual attraction to fictional characters. Cat, cat, cat. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. Mm, 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 mm. Don't lie to me with these fake definitions. This definition says he only experiences sexual attraction to fictional characters. That's Cap. Because the fictional character is based off a real woman. So that doesn't, even, that doesn't make any sense. How are you attracted to the fictional but not the real? Because we're condoning the craziness. That's why I say we live in a sick society who's going to actually condone the craziness. It just needs... I figure we still have mental um, facilities... Men, you know, mental illness or recognize it for people who can't control the craziness. He, in a way, can control the craziness, and society condones that. <laughs> so there are levels to it that we will agree with, and so they make fucked up or foolish definitions to condone such things. Yep, it still make any sense. <laughs> it just doesn't. <laughs> So back back to Robin. So now now that we understand what fictosexuality, I did not know that was a thing before this podcast episode. <laughs> what is your opinion on this fictosexual man having relationship problems with his digital waifu that's no longer being supported? First of all, what was funny because I, I was muted because my husband's in the kitchen cooking. And I was thinking it, and my husband said it out loud as I was thinking it. He was like, she needs a software update. (laughs) 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 
But uh, in all serious though, like I have no thoughts. I I can't relate. I'm I'm like with Dana. I'm I'm a loss for words. The simple the simple fact that some men actually feel like the only type of love and affection that they can get is from a fictional character. But yet and still it's like it's not being reciprocated back. I know now there I know that there are some companies making it to where you can go in VR and choose, you know, the, the female that you like, right? And give her a personality and all that all, all those different things. I know that's in the works now, but it, it, I don't know. It's, it's, it's nothing like the real thing. Nothing, nothing like the real thing. Nothing like the real thing. Yeah, go ahead. I have a question. Yes. Was this the sound she made when she died? So let, let, let me let me add some color to this, right? So apparently Japanese male loneliness has gotten so bad that certain actions have been they're monetized now so there's a lot of dudes like you know this guy who married Hatsune Miku there are now services where you can pay for a woman to cuddle with you that's one mm, I heard about that. but you know what I, I would rather I would rather them do that exactly than, this is real marry, uh, interaction. fictional character of nothingness a hologram I, like I, <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, I mean, at least you know the money is going to like a real woman, right? Like that, but... or like, or just just get a, a, a professional escort. Pretty True, woman, right? yeah. Because for that, it's very expensive. For that, for that, that, that she's not cheap. For, for she that, that must not be an escort. You know, like, but 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 for real, like for that amount of money that he spent on the wedding, on that hologram, on the wedding. You know, I, I don't know what the going rate is in Japan for professional escorts nowadays, but I'm just saying, he could have got something for that amount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But but here's the thing, and Alethea, you you alluded to it. This is straight foolishness, because this fictosexual, he's now saying that, oh well, I'm not attracted to an actual woman. But going back to what I was saying, these these actions are being monetized. You have maid cafes. Cuddle services. You can now even you can get a mom replication service. What am I talking huh? about? It is where you pay a woman, you put your head into her lap, and she takes a Q-tip and she cleans your ears like your mom. Oh yeah, like little kid. I know that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? what, what? You're you're muted. Why why did why did you give that face to the? the, the I'm saying that's or... mommy issues. That's mommy issues. Shit. Yeah, you know you have daddy issues. You got mommy issues. That person who wants that or whoever indulges in those type of things, they have mommy issues. You've never heard of mommy I've, issues. I've, I've I've heard of it. I I'm yes. just simply listing the different. You know, because it's getting this bad, human interaction has gotten this bad to where every every single step of the way is monetized there's hand holding services cuddling services i mean rent back a in the day services rent a rent a boyfriend services no back when i grew up like the the closest thing was like a kissing booth but even then yeah. i was never like you know i ain't trying to swap saliva with like seven other dudes no yeah, that, hell that's no that's <laughs> but yeah, hey really i but i understand <laughs> If, if you're if you're at the kissing booth, you're trying to get your money, and hey, giving out kisses, uh, you know it is what it is. But that's nasty. Hey, so for a certain price, people are willing to pay for anything. You're putting your life at risk. What's the social? What's social interaction like growing up? What's their culture like that causes this? Because people seem to have, they feel like they can get more of a connection 
with an inanimate object rather than a real human being, even though those, as you clearly pointed out, those in an, in an inanimate objects are based off of real human beings. So what is their social interaction like um, in their culture? Because obviously something's wrong that's breeding all of this. It's not just one or two. This is a, a socially accepted thing. Like, how did we get here? And I, I know I don't expect you to like delve into it because that's gonna take a long time. But um, I'm just wondering, like, how did we get here? One thing I heard about uh, uh, about their culture is that they are so overworked. Like they they, they put especially the, the young adults going to adulthood and then you know full maturism and whatnot. They focus so much on work. And even in some some parts of some Asian countries, they have like rules on how many children you can have in a family yeah, or whatnot. So the focus is not necessarily towards human interaction. So they when they so focused on their work and they get overworked, and they even have um services where they can put you away in a small box for like a day or a night, and you just sleep. That's how bad it is. So they've gotten so entrenched into that that they when they get when they realize they're in it, they're like, oh shit, I don't have a woman, I don't have a companion, I need a companion, I need companionship. And is this just and it's and it's not just more, it's just one person, it's more than one. So oh, it's just a collective amount of people trying to find their way in that predicament. And so the society breeds that. that, it encourages that kind of thing. Based on Pretty mentality, well. yeah. yeah. Oh damn. Well, something needs to be fixed. Hey, Nico. Something needs to be fixed about that. Welcome, Nico. I don't know how much of the the, the topic you've heard, but um, to catch you up to speed, we're talking about um, a story I did about a year ago about a man who married Hatsune Miku, and uh, now this term "fictosexual" has come up that he's attracted solely to. Um, you know, uh, 2D animated characters, people who aren't real. So um, basically, I was going around the panel and just asking everyone's opinion on this situation because now the company that supports the software, it, 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 they no longer support it. So now he can't talk to Hatsune Miku anymore. So that's uh, that's for we're at. So what, what are your, since you're just coming in fresh off, what is your thoughts <laughs> on that? I think my facial expression says it all, but um, okay. Well, boy, I remember when that story first came up, and you know the the various controversies that that surrounded that entire story. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I almost feel sorry for the dude because now he can't speak to his wife because <laughs> the software is they no longer support the software. But then at the same time, I'm like, okay. It's 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 a case where he's he's not gotten any anything in he's not been had any luck in real life, and so he's just turned to his his two D waifus essentially. Um, as somebody who you know I, I like I like I like my husbandos in anime you know as as I call them you know my my two D husbandos I have a various a various ones that I like. But do I take it to the point? Do I take it to the point where you know it's it's gonna be like a whole relationship like look this one is fiction and one is reality right it's it the, the two don't completely mix at least technology isn't there yet anyway right and i don't know if we do we want it to get there is another question but at the nope. moment nope. that's not the case right so it's not entirely possible and you see this guy goes and marries his wife who he said literally and now he can't access his wife so it's it's kind of it's wild. It's a bit it's it's wild. It's controversial, and I, I almost feel sorry for the dude, honestly. Ne Neko, oh. imagine you're having sex and you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh boy! That's a, that you know, oh no! What do you that's, do with life? Battery low. Oh god. That, that's that's a good question. So how how so if you're in a fictosexual relationship, I'm I'm just gonna you know we're on the podcast. I'm just throw it out there. <laughs> how do you advance a sexual relationship in that case? Well, considering they have they have um VR porn now, so yeah. all you need is some goggles 
and and and, and I use that and some earphones and and and, and thinking that pretty good market, seeing that it's making money. It's it just a matter of time. Good, good, um, is that VR good? technology? It's only a matter of time before somebody connect the two and 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 mix and make some big money off of it. There's a system where you can marry uh, 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 your your two D waifu. There is somewhere you can connect the VR to actually pipe guts, 3D, mm -hmm. IRL guts. Mm -mm. All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna inject some reality with this whole situation. <laughs> Bring it back. If you are not someone who programs as a hobby, you are not a software engineer, and you're not someone who's maintaining the code base for your 2D waifu, you're finished. You're cooked. You're done. If Gatebox stop support which they did you're finished you can't do anything so if you're living in a world where you don't like women okay cool you don't like 3d women cool that's all you you want to marry a hologram i think it's fucking stupid but you have the right to do it in this crazy ass world well you better get those programming skills up because if you don't this is who this is what you're gonna be hold on and so hold on a second this is what you're gonna be. He don't even look happy. That's you. He looks mentally you better broken. get on your C plus plus JavaScript. If you can't even some back end stuff. Keep, if you can't keep your wife alive and you're depending on others, you're, you've already failed in this. Honestly, <laughs> you couldn't even keep your two dimensional wife alive. Damn. 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 Okay. You can't depend on others to keep your wife alive if you're in that position. At least when the wife really can you can feed her and make sure she's alright and healthy. Mm -hmm. Well he doesn't have much respon he doesn't have much responsibility with her. He doesn't have to feed her, she doesn't cost him as much money, she doesn't talk back to him. But now he doesn't hey. have her anymore. No, she don't talk at all. She don't. No, she not. No, <laughs> no she in here. No, she dead. No, she dead. Dead. Exactly. Somehow she That's dead. My condolences. <laughs> no. Well, you you prefer to downgrade and upgrade, and by going to a two two D rather than three D. I don't know, man. This this world is getting I'm more crazy. Three D. Like, don't sense. I hope so, but if you're going to move, if you're going to. Go to the extent of spending so much money and time and effort on a fictional character. I don't know how you guys survive talking to a real person. Probably have an anxiety attack just by saying hi. I, I don't know. I'm I don't having know. an anxiety attack behind the story. <laughs> I, I think this goes to show that regardless of whether it's a 3D waifu, a real life waifu, or a 2D waifu, there's still a responsibility involved. You still got to take care of your wife. He does? No, I said he still has to because look, he didn't. She did. She gone. Well, she didn't, she didn't, he didn't come up with a solution even, to keep her going. With your apps, you have to do like a weekly update. So he definitely has to take care of her. Right. He didn't do his updates too. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or, or as Jiggins pointed out, if he knows programming, perhaps he can fix the issue and yeah, you know, yeah, have his own program. Yeah. So she will never die if he you know if he has that skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell my man, tell my man out. The world just seemed dark, man. It just seemed dark. You know how to code? Help my man out. <laughs> uh -huh. no, no, I'm not. I'm. I'm not gonna waste my intelligence, my time to support. A digital wife. I, I just, I'm just not gonna be about it. Like one of the, this guy. It, it's funny. Th this guy that we're talking about right now is one of the reasons why the podcast is named the way it is. A People are wife. so far gone that they'd actually take a 2D waifu over a real one. So this, this show, this podcast, it serves to bring people back to reality. This is foolish. <laughs>
too anxious, cause I be too timing. I don't want your heart when I got all these diamonds. Oh, you can see this speaking facts, it's truly lying. I don't know who let you in my head, ring the sirens. I don't really wanna hear lies, bring me silence. I don't wanna hear me.